All right. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will be talking about agents in uh, Langchain. So if you go into the Langchain documentation, you can see more details about the agents. So there are various types of agents, uh, various tools that can be used uh, with agents and uh, so, etc. So, but simply talking about an agent. So agent in Langchain uh, is simply can be considered as a third person in our interaction with uh, large language models. So this person got access to various tools and can help us to overcome the limitations uh, of the large language models. So basically the various information regarding the agents, uh, as I mentioned, you can find it in the uh, documentation. So let's quickly jump into the notebook so that we can get a better understanding about how these agents are actually uh, working. So two main uh, limitations of large language models are they do not have contemporary, uh, do not have access to contemporary data. So especially when talking about uh, chat GPT, they got data up to only 2021. So that is one limitation. They do not have access to the temporary data. And another limitation is they are really bad at uh, math. So they can be uh, solving simple mathematical uh, stuff, but when it comes to the complex mathematical uh, equations, and etc., it uh, performed really bad. So these are two uh, limitations of large language models. So let's discuss how we can use agents with the large uh, language to overcome uh, these issues. So for this, uh, I will be using LLM math uh, tool as well as SERP API uh, tool. So the SERP API is a well-known tool that is using for uh, doing the Google search. So you can register for SERP API through the SERP API uh, website. From that, you can get an uh, API key. For there, you will get, uh, you can simply create a free account. So there, you will get 100 searches per month and you have to give your email address and then uh, the phone number in order to create an account. So then uh, you can also use the OpenAI uh, API key. So by registering with OpenAI, you can get that API key as well. All right, so we will be using SERP API as well as LLM math. So LLM math for doing the mathematical stuff SERP API to do the Google search. So uh, when using these agents, basically uh, if it understood that uh, this information that the person is querying about not available in my training data, what it will do is it will do a Google search and try to grab this information from the Google. And then again, if it come across uh, some idea about these uh, various steps need to do mathematical stuff. So if, we, if I need to use do the mathematical stuff, I need to use access the calculator. So then it will be using the LLM math module and then get those mathematical stuff done. So uh, starting from the beginning, uh, we need to install these uh, LangChain, OpenAI and Google Search Results libraries. Then we can uh, import these libraries. And then here I can uh, give the OpenAI key as well as SERP API key and set those as the environmental uh, variables. Next, uh, we can initiate the LLM uh, with the OpenAI module. And then we have to define the tools. So these are the tools that will be supporting the third person in our interaction, which is the agent to get various things done, which language models alone uh, cannot do. And then uh, we can initialize an agent. So Asian agent needs tools. So we are giving the Google search tool as well as a math tool. And then we are giving the language model. And then we have to uh, set this agent type. So we are setting it to the zero shot React description as per the documentation. And then we can also set uh, the verbose 
is equal to true. So with this, it will show all the steps and thinking process which were behind this uh, interaction with language model. All right, so here I'm going to get some answers which require the Google search as well as a calculator to uh, perform. So here I'm asking who is the best actor in 2023 Oscar and what is his age rise to the power of 0 0.5. So this is what it uh, produces. Basically it produces a chain of thought like this. So uh, it starts the agent executor chain. So then it starts to think, so I need to find out who is the best actor is and then calculate his age rise to the uh, 0 0.5 power. So the action, then it starts, uh, it identified this is the action that I need to perform. So then it go ahead with the search that it will be using this Google search API because this information is not available with its training data because I'm uh, querying about 2023. And then the action input uh, it gives the best actor in 2023 Oscar. And then it get this observation, Brendan Fraser. And then uh, next it uh, split the task, decompose this task as the next step. I need to find out the Brendan uh, Fraser's age. So that one again uh, would be a search action. So it will get the, as the search uh, query, Brendan Fraser's age. And then the observation is 54 years. Then uh, it, it starts to think again, I need to calculate 54 rise to the power of 0 0.5. Then uh, it uh, decides I need to use the calculator, which is provided by the LLM math module. And then it will uh, use these numbers and will calculate this answer, which is 7.348. So then uh, it conclude this thinking chain. It comes with a conclusion. I know the final answer and then it uh, gracefully produced the final answer. Brendan Fraser, 54 years old, raised into the 0 0.5 uh, power is 7.348. Likewise, we can use uh, various tools with uh, large language models uh, thanks to LangChain. So this is how can uh, we simply uh, create an agent with access to the various tools and use them to uh, strengthen the interaction with large language models. All right then, thank you for watching and make sure to uh, subscribe me. See you again with the next video.